what's up my goodies welcome back to my channel and to my kitchen how to cook we are cooking up a storm in my kitchen all for the price of one in a buttery seared lamb chops cheesy mashed potato over creamy garlic shrimp now if you are new here watching me cooking make sure you subscribe and turn on your post notification settings so you will always be reminded when every girl upload a brand new video let's jump right in at it Okay, good day. Make me start cook up in the kitchen, right? Straight. Now I have my meat right here, which is my lamb chops that you guys have requested. That's what I want for see me a cook, right? So I'm about the lamb chop. That's funny and good. Mm -hmm. But wash it nice and clean with salt, lemon juice, and vinegar. That's what I always use when I'm in fact cleaning my meats and my like poultry a lot of people don't want to wash that but listen good in our kitchen we are gonna wash out the things straight we are gonna wash it right yes now after me all uh, set and all done with that me gonna season up the thing so i'm gonna add some garlic pepper it is a combination of the two you can add black pepper there you go in and add your garlic powder same thing then i had some onion powder of course because that is a clash of combination of the two onion and the garlic powder then i'm going with some barbecue seasoning and this is the one that i have it tastes good to me like it and so i had my barbecue seasoning on my lamb chops take my clean clean finger them and rub that meat just rub it in rubbing that season of the meat and then turn it on the other side and you're gonna repeat the same thing you did past step number one which is add your garlic and black pepper season onion powder and your barbecue season and just rub it in the thing now Good, you can seize up this thing from overnight, you know. But you know me already. Everything always fast, easy, and simple in my kitchen. All I'm going to do is give it 30 minutes. I'm going to wrap it up with some plastic wrap and cover it up and just make it chill out in one corner in my kitchen for 30 minutes. That's all me I do because me don't have no time for wait until next day because me have some hungry people me have a feed. So me don't have no time for the Oli Pareri and the Oli Palele. So we're going to just wrap up the thing in a little plastic wrap and wait 30 minutes. Now while me wait 30 minutes, me going to season up my shrimp. Yes, boom. We're going to season up them shrimp there. And you want to make sure that your shrimp is cleaned, deveined, right? Make sure you do that. But I am going to keep on the tail part from the shrimp to make easy access to when, you know, people are going to eat them shrimp and just have the little thing for all and pandas on here and eat up them shrimp, yeah, mm -hmm. But just make sure say you wash it. I give it a nice little rinse with some lemon and vinegar. Now, I'm going to season it just like I did the lamb chop, right? The exact season. So, you know, if you worry about putting those seafood season and all of that no just use the same spices that you use to season the meat earlier even if you want to substitute your season use the same season that you did with right here now moving right along in that pot right there i added some oil any kind of oil we have can work right then i went in and added my lamb chops into that pot and my fire is on medium eat right that's so. all then i went in with some minced garlic because garlic make everything taste better so throw your garlic in the thing right all over the place whatever a lot of that stay then and only then right get it now it's time for me to go in and add my butter become a one the thing for like fry up with the tears of the butter but i did use unsalted butter feed then i went in with some onion that's kind of throw it all over the place and some scallion that's a more flavor with the thing i fry up in a good yes boo just go ahead and put some scallion and thyme to it and i did add a little bit of dried pepper flakes just a little bit not too much of course the girl not cook not without vinegar apple cider vinegar what does vinegar do it cleanse it from inside out go ahead and start in taking a whole bunch of that vinegar there right give it about four to five minutes on medium eat and then you turn it over right 
it is going to take a total of about 15 minutes right here in this in this it doesn't take long 15 15 to 20 minutes flip it and flop it just like that 15 to 20 minutes and then after you do all of that for the 15 to 20 minutes on medium heat then you want to go in oh that looks so good mm -mm. so 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 good oh so so good no but yeah moving along after 15 to 20 minutes right and medium meat you add your soy sauce to it don't add the soy sauce earlier add it 15 to 20 minutes on medium eat just like so right mmm flavor galore then you want to put your favorite barbecue sauce I'm using honey you could use whatever you like after you do that you're going to give it another like 10 minutes on that same medium heat now change it good they make the thing set same way so with that good juices right there in your pot you want to start sprinkling all over that that lamb chops mm -hmm. just get it all up in there with the flavor from the onion and the scallion and the thyme and the butter and the garlic talk to me nice talk to me nice after all of them things that go on I saw the thing set right there so just go ahead and remove them from your pot and make it go on chill out right because I forget the shrimp ready you know right I forget the shrimp ready now in your same pot where you used to fry that thing there you're going to use it for your shrimp because a pea flavor is not a pot table just go ahead and put your shrimp in and don't forget shrimp only takes six minutes of cooking you don't want to overcook it right about two minutes into that you want to go ahead and had your heavy whipping cream to it and all the amount of your recipe will be listed down in the description box check it out I don't know them there give it a good mix right Yes, saw heavy whipping cream mm, the thing is flavor galore please smell so good now that is what it's gonna look like after about four minutes good four minutes in I saw the thing starts set that heavy whipping cream starts to come together and it's gonna kick up a mean flavor what I did was was add some dried parsley to it if you don't have dried parsley use fresh parsley use cilantro oregano whatever you want but after six minutes I saw the thing set everything is supposed to come together nice and a bubble six minutes take it off of the heat just take it off of the heat because you don't want your shrimp to get rubbery now we are going to move on to the potatoes while we have the pork chops hanging out and the shrimp hanging out, we are gonna get the potatoes ready. Cause we need to finish up addition or no? I went ahead and peel my potatoes and then I had some heavy whipping cream to it. Now this is how I'm gonna do this potato right. So I'm have all kind of way over make mashed potatoes. I added some whip to it because I always do my potatoes based on my mood that I'm in for that day and my recipe I'm cooking. I went ahead and add some sharp cheddar and then I added some mozzarella because I love mozzarella cheese. Those are my two favorite cheese. Then I added some more dried parsley to it, but done the whole buckle. And then I added some um, paprika. When in, I'm start to mash it with a fork, right? Just to combine them things together, mm -hmm, just like so, and then we go in and get my potato mash and start mash the daylight saving times out of it until it looked like that. And I was ready. I kind of let it sit for about five minutes before we start decorating my plate. But while we're waiting, a friend reminder please like and share and subscribe to this channel for all my upcoming awesome recipes. I always have good recipes here, and I'm always fast and easy and simple to follow. If you don't see what you want, ask a girl is always here to what? Deliver, right? Mm -hmm. While you're still here watching me and hearing me rumbling, go ahead and subscribe to my channel, Life of Juliana. The link for that channel will be listed down in the description box. So go ahead and check that out. I have all kinds of recipes that's coming over there that's only vegan because I separate my vegan recipes from here to there. So if you're a vegan, go ahead and put in your order for what you like to see me cooking and it will be coming soon. I'll be uploading my vegan recipes very soon. My story times are over there and more are coming. Thank you for all the love and that giveaway is still going on. So go ahead and make sure that your notification is on to win. Love you guys so, so, so much. Now, now I'm getting ready to put my food on my plate. I went ahead and put my lamb chop on and then my potatoes. I put it in a little 
brown thingy thingy and I just let it cool for a little bit so it could slide out of that container easy like so right mm -hmm. lot of motor water then I went ahead and just pour that good shrimp that flavored shrimp with so much flavor up in you know that thing there and just went and just throw it all up in there that one part thing there and just let all the juices flow honey just like that it was done and it was fast and it was easy and it was simple so what make sure see so you spread the love with friends and family bring them come and tell them we're going over here right but before you go listen look all the meat tender that lamb chops is so filled with so much flavor and that shrimp is tender soft moist and juicy honey juicy give the recipe a try you will not be disappointed go share it to your social media and share it with anybody where you want now go ahead tell me what you want to see me cook next in my kitchen and remember as always from my kitchen to your kitchen enjoy